How to politely disagree with someone. Let's imagine a difference of opinion with your boss. But it could be a difference of opinion with anybody. A friend, a family member, your husband, your wife, anybody. In this example, you are the manager of a restaurant. And David is your boss and he is the owner of the restaurant. Now, your boss, David, wants to install computer software ABC. He likes it because it's cheap and has lots of features. However, you know that the software is bad. It has lots of bugs and is difficult to use. You think that software XYZ is better. So you have a difference of opinion. So, how do you politely disagree with your boss? And in this video, I'm going to show you 10 phrases that you can use. So David starts with his statement, we should buy software ABC because it's cheap and has lots of features. So you can reply with, I understand where you're coming from, but, so this is the phrase, you're saying that I'm listening to you, I've heard what you're saying, I hear your opinion, I understand your opinion, but, and then you follow it with a counter argument. So you give your opinion. So in this example, we can say, for example, but software ABC is not user friendly. Okay, so not user friendly means it's um, not easy to use. Okay, so the phrase is, I understand where you're coming from, but, and then your opinion. Okay, so it's a non-aggressive way of giving your opinion. You're showing that you respect the other person's opinion, you understand their opinion, but you don't agree with it. Okay, so it's a very polite way of giving your opinion. Let's look at a similar one. And this time you can say, that's a valid point, but, okay, so you're saying, okay, that's um, a good argument, that's a good opinion, but I don't agree with it. And here is my opinion. But software ABC will cause us to lose money in the long term. Okay, so in the short term, it's cheap, we save money, but in the long term, we're going to lose money because it's bad software. So the phrase is, that's a valid point, but, and then your opinion. And another one, I agree up to a point, but, and then your opinion, your counter argument. So here you're saying, well, I agree slightly. I agree partly. Okay, I don't agree with everything you say, but here is my opinion. But there are lots of bugs in that software. Okay, so again, you're showing that you're listening to the person, you respect their opinion, but you don't agree with it, and here is my opinion. You can say, that's partly true, but... Software ABC is known to be difficult to use. So again, you're saying, um, yes, you agree with some of what the person is saying. You agree with part of what the person is saying, but not all of it. And here is your counter argument. This is your opinion. This is very good as well. This structure here, we're saying software ABC is known to be difficult to use. Now this is the passive voice, and this is very useful in an argument or a disagreement um, if you're trying to be polite, because this is very neutral language. You're not saying, well, I think software ABC is difficult to use. When we say software ABC is known to be difficult to use, it's not really coming from you. You're not making it personal. You're not saying I'm right and you're wrong. 
you're saying that, well, everybody knows it's difficult to use. People in general think that this software is difficult to use. So buying something, so by saying something is known to be something, then it is less direct. The language is less aggressive, less direct. We could also say software ABC is said to be difficult to use. Okay, so people say that the software ABC is difficult to use. Other people, not just me. Okay. We should buy software ABC because it's cheap and has lots of features. So here we have lots of very small sentences that we can use. First one is you can say, I beg to differ. And this is a very short sentence and it's very polite and very direct. It simply means I don't agree, but it's less aggressive than saying I don't agree. And here are four more. That's not necessarily the case. I'm afraid I don't share your opinion. I don't see it that way. And I'm not so sure about that. So these are all um, five very quick, short sentences that mean I don't agree or I disagree. Okay. And they are much more diplomatic and much more polite. Okay. So these are good um, sentences to learn and to remember. Uh, and then of course you can follow them with your opinions in a separate sentence. Okay. Now, interruptions. Often when you are disagreeing with someone or having an argument with someone, then people can get quite animated and start interrupting people. So stopping people from finishing their sentence and you start talking. So how to deal with that? So if you accidentally interrupt your boss, then you need to apologize. You should say, sorry, go ahead. Okay, so sorry, you talk. Or you can say, sorry, you were saying, which you're saying to your boss or to the other person, please continue, finish your sentence, I'm sorry. Okay, now if it's the opposite situation and if your boss constantly interrupts you without apologizing, so he interrupts you all the time, then you need to you need to say something, you have to react. And you have to be quite direct, you have to be polite, but firm. And this is the best way of saying it, I think, please, if I may finish, and you keep eye contact, you look at the other person in the eye, and you say, please, if I may finish. And so you're telling the other person, look, that's enough now. You need to stop interrupting me and let me finish my sentence. Okay. So it, this, as I said, it's polite, but you're being very firm here. You're saying to the other person, okay, stop. That's enough now. I need to be able to express myself. And ending the conversation, what should you do if you and your boss or the other person continue to disagree because sometimes it's impossible to change someone's opinion. Sometimes you will never succeed in, you're never going to always win an argument. You're not going to change the other person's opinion. So we have a perfect phrase for this in English. You can say, let's just agree to disagree. Okay, let's just agree to disagree. And so here you're essentially saying, okay, you have your opinion. I have my opinion. I'm never going to change your opinion and you're never going to change my opinion. Let's just end the conversation. Okay. And it's probably the best way to keep the peace with someone. Okay. So that's the end of the video. Hope you liked it. If you're preparing for the IELTS exam, then click here for information about our course. And here are some of the videos which I think you might like.